We're here. We're here. contend with so need to pump up those mini glutes so just finished up my glute devolume and I'm now on the stairs just doing 30 minutes of cardio this is my final cardio session of this 2023 prep and what better place to be doing it than at Bev's gym. So yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of posing after this in the posing room. Um, get Jake to have a look over me um, because he hasn't seen me in person since the Ben Weeder. Um, but yeah, this is my cardio view for today. I promised myself that next time I came back here, I would be a pro and that came true so it was amazing to walk through the door knowing that I've achieved that goal regardless of you know what happens in these pro shows um, just being able to tick off that goal was an amazing feeling for me so yeah but every time I come in here though you just feel so motivated literally the walls are just covered in like all these like signed photos of just so many icons that have trained in this gym that's why like the rock has even trained in here which is just mad <laughs> i think jake's doing cardio as well so we should all time up quite nicely for some posing and then my camera is going to die soon so hopefully i can show you guys some of my posing um but yeah after that we have got the rest of the day to go out and do some sightseeing. We did it. Final cardio session of this prep. Finito. Cannot believe that this is where I'm ending the season. Yeah, all the feels right now. Honestly, I rushed my pose in um, at the Pittsburgh Pro last weekend. Probably just because of nerves. Um, I do think this show will be a lot better in terms of me not feeling as stressed, me not feeling as nervous, so it's a wrap. It's a How was your wrap. session? Marnie's final cardio ever. Woo! Well deserved. What better place to do it? This is true. Train. 
like that one. Make your leg bigger, yes. So managed to pose in front of Steve which is amazing um, and got a couple bits of feedback he did say that my posing was amazing so I'll take that but like I said earlier I definitely feel like my nerves got the better of me at Pittsburgh so I just want to go enjoy the show um, make as many positive changes as I can but yeah he said like I could do with two or three pounds worth of muscle all over so he said, go eat and grow, and yeah, that is the plan. I'm definitely ready to eat some food this weekend. Jake said that we are gonna pull down food a little bit more, um, which is totally fine. This is the final stretch. Cardio is definitely out now, um, so at least I don't have to do any more time on the Stairmaster, I'll take that, but we will still keep steps in. We're in Grand Central. How excited are you to see New York? Buzzing. So it's Thursday morning, tomorrow we are moving to New Jersey, so final day like in central New York before the show. We will be back here after the show, um, obviously for food and more exploration and then obviously we fly home on Monday night. So yeah, we are getting closer guys, we are closing in on the New York bro 2023. We calculated yesterday, I've been in prep for nine months nine months that's nearly a whole year but we made it final show we're gonna have some fun pre-judging starts at 12 o'clock lunchtime on saturday which is amazing my hair and makeup appointment came through which is at 4 40 in the morning so that's gonna be fun um early night pre-show for me i think uh tomorrow um just so that i don't wake up feeling like a total zombie <laughs> guys we freaking made it to t-neck new jersey for the New York Pro. <laughs> it has been a hot minute since I picked up the camera. I can't even remember what the last clip was. Um, I think it might have been when we were in Grand Central Station. Um, my camera died and I'm not gonna lie to you all, I have literally been dragging myself <laughs> through the last few days. Um, I'm gonna to talk to you all about that in a little bit. Um, I've literally just got to my room. I'll show you guys around. So the, um, it's even got a bath by the way, <laughs> which is amazing. Cause I think I'm gonna actually sit in the bath and just relax. Um, but yeah, the actual show itself is in this hotel, which again, it's kind of similar to um, the setup for like the Pittsburgh Pro. Just got my nitro cold brew. I've got my base coat of tan on. This is the room. Not a very exciting view outside, but nevertheless, at least the lighting is good. The room's actually massive. Plenty of space to lay all my things out. I cannot be claustrophobic and be in a tiny room. Honestly, like we stayed in that Airbnb in Queens and my sleep has been garbage for like three nights now in a row just so noisy so loud i think i was on edge i was restless um it's definitely had like an impact on just how i've been feeling mentally going into the show but yeah i'm i'm definitely definitely at the point of like needing to end my season now and there's been tears that have been shed um, this week and it's really difficult. I've had to check myself and I've had to be like, get a grip, what are you doing? Like the old you of last month when you won your pro card or before you even won your pro card, you would have done anything to be in this situation right now and do these shows. But, and then I'm also arguing with myself of like, give yourself some grace. You've been prepping for nine months. It's just a constant back and forth battle in my head. Um, but yeah, that's just my honest thoughts and feelings. And 
I really, really like. I'm I'm not someone that gets homesick, but I'm really missing Joe as well. Um, like a lot. I don't want to say I'm lucky to be here because it's not luck. Um, you know, I've worked incredibly hard to be able to do this. Um, not only from like a physique standpoint over the years, or even in this prep, but like you know, running my posing business and doing everything that I can to be able to fund a trip out here to do these shows. And it's really, really challenging, you know, when you are at that finish line and you know that you're nearly there and not wanting to wish my time away because, you know, I, I know that I'm going to look back on this trip and I'm going to be like, I wish you were more present and... Yeah, there's just so many thoughts running through my brain right now, as I'm sure you can all just tell just by listening to me ramble. I don't even think that, like, I'm seeing much change anymore in a positive way in my physique. Um, I've always said this, and I said this in other videos before, and I always talk about it on Instagram, but where the mind goes the body follows and like a happy mind and a, and a stress-free mind means a stress-free prep and a responsive body and I'm just yeah like at this point I just it's challenging it's really challenging but yeah Jasmine Jeffrey is actually here it's really nice that she's here um Jake's here Abs is here this is not me doing my first ever US pro show now because obviously the nerves of the Pittsburgh pro are out of the way so I'm not showing up for the first time um I think I need to remember all these little positives that that I will have at this show um rather than you know worrying about what's to come or how I'm gonna look or anything and Jake has said over and over and over again like there's no pressure, you know, this is about having fun. This is about, you know, making small tweaks and granted, you know, my posing could have been better at Pittsburgh, but I was just nervous. I was so nervous and I'm not ashamed to admit that um, because, you know, I think as much as like I'm obviously a posing coach and I've been doing this for a long time and I've got amazing clients that look up to me and whatever, like I I got those first timer nerves at the uh, Pittsburgh Pro last weekend. Um, and I'm not afraid to admit that because I actually think it, hopefully it, it makes those of you that are watching realize that we don't always have it figured out. It's not always perfect. Like we do stumble, we do rush, we do sometimes, you know, make silly mistakes and you know that's just part of the sport it's you're never going to get it 100 percent every time and i think as well jake has also reminded me over and over and over again we had one goal for this prep and that was to turn pro and anything on top of that is a bonus so you know this time last month i had just won my pro card there's girls that are at these shows that are like seasoned pros that have been on the circuit for years and years and years and I am here after doing a regional in March in the UK. I'm now sat in New York ready to do the New York Pro and I have just done the Pittsburgh Pro and it's just, I don't, I still don't think it's, it's fully sunk in at all. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, eight. Got my number. Um, now I'm just gonna go and say bye to Jazz and Joe and then head upstairs and relax for the rest of the evening. So guys, the tan is on. I am all settled with my bedding and I'm just charging up my portable charger, camera. I've got everything laid out. There's not really a lot to update you guys on other than the fact that I am just so, so ready to do the final dance of the season.
gonna show you guys how I'm looking. There we have it, it's 6 a.m. So now I need to go check in with Jake. Six hours away from pre-judging. This is So I'm just off stage at pre-judging. We didn't come last and we've got a table booked at Cheesecake Factory for 8.45 and it, we've got like five hours to wait. So I don't have a spoon. So you're gonna have to use that as a spoon. You best believe I'm dipping my rice cake. You excited? To watch for your day. diet coke in Yay, the cheesecake factory me and abs are gonna go in aren't we oh my god i'm not i don't think i'm even gonna come back out <laughs> <laughs> looks amazing how is it, it was The core so. <laughs> oh my god. What on earth? 